a story time about my wisdom teeth removal. Of course, I don't know if you guys have watched my Impacted Canine wisdom teeth, my Impacted Canine teeth removal story. If you haven't, go watch that. It seems like every time I get some type of removal of the teeth, I have some type of issue. But I'm just gonna be running you down the day and everything that occurred during during that day that I got that surgery. So let's go back and kind of give you guys a little bit of information. Um, I got my wisdom teeth removed a little over a year ago, so it's been a while. Okay, I quickly want to say that I said that it's been a year, but it's actually only been a couple of months. I got it done in January, and it's now June, so it hasn't been that long. <laughs> I got all four done at the same time. I used no laughing gas, uh, just numbing, and I think that's it. I had my appointment in the morning, and... I probably should have wrote some stuff down so I can remember. Hopefully I remember everything. I woke up in the morning and I went back. Everything was normal. And they just asked me, no painkiller. I mean, no laughing ass. I said, nope, just numbing. You know, I got my impacted teeth removed without the, uh, without laughing ass and anything. So I think this will be fine. I don't need numbing. They said, cool, great. And we got started. So the first thing that he used is some type of like ointment. Um, you guys some type of ointment or whatever for my gums to kind of numb them. And then after they were a little bit numbed, he started using the needle to completely numb the area that he was gonna be working on, which was fine. All that was fine. So after about like 30 minutes, I feel like he waited a while. After a few minutes, he got started with the removal. Um, but as soon as he started, I could feel pain. Like I could feel him cutting and stuff. And I was like, hmm, should I tell him? Yes, because this really hurts. So I um, I informed him, I said, yeah. And I guess he could notice that my face was going like this. I was making like faces. And I told him that I can feel that. And then he kind of freaked out a little bit. So he went back and started putting more numbing in and all that stuff so that I wouldn't feel anything. So we waited some more time because you have to let that stuff like get in the system, I don't know. And after a little bit of time, he started going again and everything was fine. Like I knew things were happening. I knew things were cutting, blah, 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 but I didn't feel it. Uh, I could just feel pressure, so it was fine. Then he got to one of my bottom wisdom teeth and he was struggling to get it out. So he had to like cut it in half and all this other stuff and for some reason, I could not take the pain. I could not take the sound of him like drilling and the that sound. So I said, I'm sorry, <laughs> you gotta stop. I need to get my headphones because that, that sound is freaking me out. My anxiety was going up, okay? So um, we took a little break, oopsies. And I got my headphones and after that we were fine. Um, we continued everything and all my teeth were removed. It was swell. Um, after that, I went to leave, once again, they didn't really give me that much instruction about, like, aftercare treatment, and I also didn't get, um, enough, like, and I also didn't get that much stuff, like, gauze and all that. He didn't really give me much, and so I was going to walk out, and then I was like, wait, I don't have a prescription for medicine. So, like, when I was, like, literally at the door, I went through a receptionist, and I was like, is there like a prescription or something that I need um, so I can have like some painkillers or whatever? And then she was like, what? He didn't give you any, um, he didn't give you the prescription that you needed or he didn't tell you about that. And then so she went to the back and then it was a newer guy. I guess he was new to like, new, new to being an assistant. He's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to get your prescription. Da, 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 da. And so um, I guess he had some questions about it. So he got another lady and like she seemed so annoyed with him because I was about to walk out without any painkillers, which would have been horrible. And he also gave me, he didn't give me enough. Like he only, he didn't, he didn't give me the syringe that I needed to clean the gums. He didn't give me enough gauze. He literally gave me enough gauze for like a couple of hours. And I don't think he gave me my instructions or anything. So she was like annoyed. She went and printed off all that and got my prescription and everything. And it was fine so my dad and i we went to go back home oh, no we went to go to harris theater because we forgot to get um like ice cream and okay i'm back uh, i ran out of space on my phone so i had to go to my um 
desktop to finish. So, um, where was I? Okay, so I did not prepare for the surgery at all. So I had to go to Harris Teeter. Uh, before I got my painkiller, before I got home, I had to go to Harris Teeter to get the ice cream, the mashed potatoes, the stuff that I needed to eat um, because I didn't have any at home. And I didn't prepare beforehand because I didn't think about that. So I waited in the car while my dad went in Harris Teeter and got all this stuff. And for some reason, I took like maybe like 30 minutes. I think it was kind of busy that day inside and there was no pain yet because I was still was numbed up, so there was no problem. So after we went to Harris Teeter and got the stuff, we then decided to go and pick up the medicine afterwards. I decided to go and pick up the medicine afterwards from the pharmacy. And so we get there um, to give the, the pharmacist the prescription and everything, and the man like looks at me and he says, is this you? And I look at the name and it's a man's name. Someone, this was someone else's prescription, not mine. So I was instantly annoyed. The place that I went to get my extraction was maybe about 25, 30 minutes away. And there was, because there's traffic now because it's later in the day. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is gonna suck because this numbing is gonna wear off and this pain is gonna set in and i know some people are like i don't do painkillers i just tough it out well honey that's not me and um my dad decided he's just gonna go pick up the new prescription because i don't know for some reason they couldn't send it through to the pharmacy we had to go pick it up so he decided to go pick it up while i went home and rested because it at this point it was the numbing was beginning to wear off and the pain was beginning to set in. So I went home and just waited and watched movies. <laughs> and I put the ice packs. Oh yeah, they gave me ice packs as well. And I put the ice packs on my swollen cheeks. And, um, and yeah. So time goes on and it's taking a while and the pain is like, boom, it's there. It hurts. The ice packs are not doing anything. Talking, I can't talk because it hurts bad. Laying down hurts. Everything hurts. And I'm just like... It took about an hour or more because he had to go there, come back. He had to go there, pick up the description, come back to my house, and all that. So it took a while. And so I was just waiting. <laughs> and then finally, um, he, get, he got here with his prescription after they messed up. Oh, wait. Backtrack. After we realized that it was the wrong name at the pharmacy, we called. And we called the office and said, hey, um, I'm here to pick up the prescription but this is the wrong name and they're like oh my gosh that's a mistake da, 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 da. but you guys have to come and get the new one we can't send it over and I'm like oh my gosh so that was that okay so I finally get the medicine and I just my goal is just to go to sleep because the pain was so bad so eventually I went to sleep and that was that so, um, a few weeks go by, like a week and a week and a half went by, and I'm noticing that the it's starting to look infected, it's turning a weird color, I'm cleaning it, I'm doing the salt water gargle, I'm doing everything, and I'm, I'm eating freaking soup, ice cream, and yogurt, and it's beginning to get infected, and I'm like, bruh, like, why? So... And then I decided to make a follow-up appointment because at first, I guess they didn't, um, I guess for most people, they don't need a follow-up appointment, but I decided to make one because the pain was still there. It was hurting. It looked really inflamed and it just didn't look good. So I made a follow-up appointment. I made a follow-up appointment for a few days later and it was indeed infected. He went and did something and started bleeding and all this stuff. And then he gave me antibiotics. And so after that, after I got my antibiotics, everything was better um and yeah that was really it um that was my little story it wasn't as bad as my impacted canines but i did want to share my story with you guys um just for some insight but i'm so happy now i've done two teeth stories and i don't think i'll have any more my wisdom teeth are gone my baby uh, canine teeth are gone i think i'm done with teeth issues um so that's exciting i won't have to go through that ever again so that's it for today um
I look like I gained like 30 pounds. My face is so swollen. Corona best friend, Corona best friend, he's my Corona best friend, uh.